Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share all my beauty products with you that I really, really enjoyed using in the month of April. So, yeah, if you're interested, then just keep on watching. Most of the products are makeup products, and there are two Deco products, and I think I will start with the Deco products. The first product is I really don't know how to say it, and it's a Lush product, it's a Lush hair mask, and I don't know, push one when pua, I don't know how to say it, and, but you know what I mean, and I bought this hair mask a couple weeks ago, and maybe you've seen it in my Lush haul video, if not, I will leave the link down below so you can check it out if you want. The first time I've opened it, I just, I was shocked because I hate the smell. I, I just hated it. And it, it smells like chai tea or chai latte. I don't know. It reminds me a little bit of this drink. And then I just thought I'll give it a try. And the first time I used this mask, I was shocked. In a positive way. I just left it on my dry hair for about 30 minutes. And then I washed my hair normally and my hair was so super shiny and smooth and I was so astonished. I was I was blown away by this result because I've never tried out a hair mask before that gave me this great result. And so I am obsessed with this. I use this about once a week and I just have to say I don't love the smell, but I just don't hate it that much like I did before when I first used it. So if you're looking for a good hair mask, this is great. I really, really and totally recommend this to you. I will definitely repurchase it because it's amazing and yeah, maybe you've noticed I'm obsessed with blush products, but they are good. Yeah. So the next hair care product is this Bumble and Bumble Invisible Oil and I've also bought this I think two months ago and it was in my haul video if you've seen it if not I will leave the link down below and this is great because it takes away all my frizz and it's way much better than all my drugstore ones I've used before and I've used a ton of it but that's great, it takes away my frizz, it looks my hair shiny. The only problem is if you take too much, your hair looks greasy. And that was the problem when I first used it because I used about three to four pumps for each side and my hair looked greasy. So make sure you only take a little, little, little tiny amount. I think this product is great. I know it's not a drugstore product, it's not very affordable, but it lasts you very long and it's just good for my hair, so it works for me, and I love it. And I just have to mention that I have a lot of skincare favorite products, but I just don't mention them in this video because I've uploaded a video on my favorite skincare products two weeks ago, I think. Um, so if you're interested which products are my favorite skincare products, then I will leave the link down below so you can check it out. And now moving on to my makeup products. The first product is this um, Essence Bright Up Banana Powder, and it's amazing. I just bought it because it was very, very affordable, and yeah, I just wanted to try it out. It is so good. I have it on my underneath my eyes, and a little bit on my forehead, and on the places I've used the concealer, and that's great because it just sets my concealer in place so it doesn't move around the whole day and I think it's cool because there is not too much whiteness yeah I think you can say it, I don't know but you know what I mean there are so many powders out there that leave my places where I put concealer on very white and too white it's not highlighting and this one just highlights my, my under eyes and all the places I put it on. It also gives you a little bit of coverage because it's not translucent and not that white. But it's a banana powder, so it's a little bit 
yellow. So it's very portable, it lasts you very long and I love it. So the next makeup product is this HD Liquid Coverage Foundation by Actrice and it's in the shade what we see, Rose Beige. It's so great. It's very lightweight, it has a very liquid texture. For me it has the perfect coverage because it's, I don't know if it covers pimples or anything like that. I don't have pimples that often so I've not tried it out yet on pimples but for me it's great. The only thing is that it oxidizes a little bit when it dries down so it gets a little bit darker than it actually appears when you apply it first on your face. But that's okay when you blend it down the neck. It's not a very glowy foundation but also not too matte. It's something in between but it's perfect for me. I have dry skin and it doesn't dry out my skin more and it's just great. I just love it and it stays on my face the whole day long and it says it lasts up to 24 hours. I haven't tested out 24 hours on my face but it lasts I would say about 15 to 16 hours was the longest time I've used it on my face. So yeah, that's that's everything to this foundation. It's very good, it's very affordable and I really really enjoy using this. The next April favorite is an eyeshadow palette and it's this pretty vulgar, pretty burning eyeshadow palette. I've used it a couple of times now and there are so many gorgeous colors in here and a little mirror and I think the packaging in general is very pretty with this bird and the gold here and this blue which fits a little bit too short. Yeah, it does. And the eyeshadows are so pigmented, so beautiful so you can create multiple looks with this because it's just gorgeous. There are a couple of shimmery shades in it and a couple of matte shades. Um, the only thing that it doesn't have is a very good transition shade but I think that's okay. I've already uploaded a video where I've used the red colors in here, these two, and maybe if I don't forget I will link the link down below so you can check it out if you want. Make sure you always use it a little tiny bit of the eyeshadow and just slowly build it up because it's so pigmented and I know this Fashion palette is not very affordable. It's I think it was about 40 euros or a little bit more. I had a discount code so it was okay. But I don't know it's expensive. But it's good, so yeah. The next makeup product is my beloved liquid camouflage high coverage concealer by Trees and I nearly use this in every makeup tutorial and I use this every day and I just love it and I just can put this in every single favorites video because I love it since the first day I've used it and that was a couple of years ago so I still love it and I always use this one it's in shade 010 and it's full coverage it lasts on the skin all day long and even longer than 12 hours it says on the packaging about 12 hours but I've had it on my face for so much longer and it just stayed in place. My dark circles were gone and it doesn't get into my fine lines when I set it with the powder. So yeah and I like the combination of uh, this concealer with the banana powder I've shown you before. So if you're looking for an affordable concealer that covers all your imperfections then I would definitely recommend this to you. The next beauty product of it. I would say yeah of course it's a beauty product but it's this BH Cosmetics sponge and I use this every time when I apply foundation because it's in my opinion the best sponge ever. This is so good. It's not too stiff and not too hard but not too soft like for example the Real Techniques one because that's a sponge I really hate using because it's too soft. This one is great. It it blends out my foundation very well and it doesn't soak up too much foundation and it's it's cool. I always use it when it's damp and I like it because it's black and yeah, it was about only a few euros. I don't know how much it was but it was very affordable and I just love this sponge. 
The next product is also a very big favorite of mine and it's this Master Prime for my Master Primer by Maybelline and maybe you've seen me using this primer in a couple of videos and that's because I just love this primer. It's a pore magnetizing primer, so like the name says, it just makes your pores disappear. And this one is from the drugstore, but it works so good. My pores are gone when I apply it, and it's just it's just amazing. I like it. I like the texture of it. You only need a little amount of it, and it doesn't dry out my skin, so it minimizes my pores. And I don't know if it helps to make my foundation last longer because all my foundations last very long, even if I don't wear um, a primer. But maybe it helps. I don't know. The reason why I use it is because I just want to make my pores disappear, and for that it works very good. So great and affordable. So there are two more products left, and one is this big and beautiful butterfly mascara by Aster and I use this every day when I go to work and it's just so good and it makes my lashes very pop and long so there are a few other mascaras that give me more volume but the volume it gives is great it just separates my lashes very well and it has this big wand here and it lasts very long so i just like it i think the packaging is very beautiful and it works for me my lashes look beautiful with it and it stays in place all day long and it's very affordable because it's a flex mascara and i just like it so last but not least i've got this nyx soft matte lip cream in the shade stockholm this color is gorgeous. It's a very natural everyday color and very beautiful. I love the smell. It dries matte so it's perfect because I love matte lipsticks and matte lip glosses because I don't like it when it's shimmery or such when it doesn't dry down but it stays very glossy because every time when I go out and it's windy my hair gets into my lip gloss and I just hate it. So that's perfect. I think that's the perfect color if you have a very dramatic eyeshadow look and also for on an everyday basis that's gorgeous and so it's a totally favorite of mine and it's affordable because it's a NYX product and NYX products are not very expensive. So guys now you've seen all my April favorites and yeah, if you've enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!